Nature here for a shockingly overdue floss tube. I have missed you all so much. Um, I've just had a lot going on. Nothing serious, but um, some life transitions. I ended up taking the summer off because I was in Austin with my husband and I wanted to spend time with him and also couldn't, couldn't find a space that was like quiet and my own where I could do my thing. Um, I also didn't want to see, like, all the stuff that I had, but that's okay. Um, he's very supportive. He doesn't understand, like, why you need more than one needle minder or why you need more than one project bag. You should just use the same one with whatever you're working on, right? Like, that's, that's his logic. <laughs> we'll see if he, we'll see if he catches up to speed. But anyway, you know, the kid is wonderfully ensconced at their college in Vermont, which is very, very far away from both of us, but... You know, we got them all ready, we got all the stuff, we moved them, I've already been to visit them for Parents Weekend, um, so they're doing great. I started the semester, I have um, two classes that I built to be like permanent online sort of versions of our intro classes, so I'm rolling those out, which is taking a lot of debugging, and then I'm back on campus for my other two classes. Um, it's great. It, it, I love being there with my students, I love seeing their faces, at least, you know, that part of it, because we're all wearing masks indoors. Um, but it's, you know, I'm, I'm commuting, <laughs> which I forgot how much time that takes, and I'm tired at the end of the day, because I've been, like, on my feet and running around and all those things. So, anyway, I'm okay. Life is okay. I just have a lot going on. Um, and I think part of the reason why I was putting off filming a floss tube was... It's not just filming, right? Um, those of you who have put something up know, right? There's, there's at least minimal editing. There's putting stuff in the description box. There's getting all your stuff organized. There's, you know, figuring out what you're going to show and talk about. It. And there's, there's a lot of work. Oh, by the way, you love my Gorilla Girl shirt? Boom. If you don't know who the Gorilla Girls are, side note, teacher moment, Google them. There's this amazing feminist art collective. So we'll just leave it at that. But if you're wondering why what's going on here, that's what that is, but anyway, sorry, clearly it's like almost 10 o'clock, so I decided even though it's almost 10 o'clock, we'll go ahead and film this thing, so I'm a little scatterbrained in every which way, um, I'm also not going to do those things, cat's coming in and opening the door, um, if it starts here, I'm not going to edit it out, I'm just going to go shut the door, come on in, Bosco. And, of course, he, like, ran out as I shut it. So this, this is going to be an ongoing thing. Um, but I'm not going to edit it out because what I've decided is I'm not going to edit. I probably won't put stuff in the description box. I have a, a tub, right, with the stuff in it that I've, like, put in here over the last however long. I don't remember what's in there, so we're just going to go through the tub together. We're going to go old school. Um, see, told you. Come on in, Bosco. <gasps> He's in the door. Okay. We're just going to go old school, not fancy schmancy, and, but that's where maybe I get something up, right? So let's see, what have I got? So first couple of things are sitting right here. So I may not have, I also just haven't had a lot of stitchy time in the last six weeks um, with the new semester, my commuting, uh, but I ride the light rail to work, so I'm having knitting time. So I finished my stuff! They look a little funky because I haven't blocked them, so they kind of look like elf toes, but my very, very first pair of socks. I love them. I actually made three socks as opposed to just the two because um, the very first one I made um, was super long. <laughs> like, it was not not really me size, but I had my husband try it on, and it, it's his size, so I kept it so that um, I can sort of use it for figuring out his size in the future when I make him socks. I probably never wear the socks I made, so that's all right. So after I finished my socks, show them again, because, like, I love them so much. They're so fun. I made a hat, and this went really fast. And actually, there's a puff ball that goes on the hat that's in the closet that I don't have. But um, this here is the whole reason why I wanted to learn how to knit, is they had this sample in this funky yarn at my um, LYS, and I want to make this for my kid because they're going to Vermont. So, um, yeah, I made a hat. So, 
I know this is mostly cross stitch, but I figure I know several people have been wanting to, to talk about knitting or learn how to knit, so I would show that. So now into the stitchy. Well, what you're here for, right? Um, okay, so what I have been working on the most, oh, got something on it. Yeah. Okay, is my, and I didn't iron anything either. So people who are like, you need to iron your projects, you've been warned, and you can just go watch something else if that's going to bother you. Um, my Pandemic 2020 sampler. Look at that. It's like halfway done. Um, and we're working, um, Darlene has divided it out into months. Um, and so to keep us sort of working on it, we're working on months. We've got one, two, three, and four. And then I'm working on part five here, which will be sort of a mirror of this section, right? So we'll have the other half of this little flower. There's another little bird. There's another woman who's a woman of color. There's another ginormous flipping house. And so that's what I'm going to be working on this month. But, oh my God, do I love this. I love the little owl and this blue planter with, or with the blue flowers. There's just so much awesomeness. And this border, right? Can we just, oh, so good. Wait, like, Starcy Girl knocked it out. So this has been, like, my main project for months. Um, it's what I have taken with me when I've traveled on the plane. It's, you know, it's great. And it sort of, when it's in its Q-snap, I had it all bunched up and, like, clipped. And so my friend, here's my first piece of, like, stitchy kindness. My friend Alexis made me this grime guard. And, like, even though it's, like, goofy donuts, the colors are, like, so cool. They work so well. I love it so, so much. So thank you, Alexis. Like, I love it. I love it. All right. So let's see what else is in this bin. I know it's in here. It's in my Japanese screen bag. It's my birthday start. So my birthday was in June. And I started my shadowing. There isn't a whole lot to show here, but I'm working on Weeping Willow Keep. It's a respectable start. Let's see if it'll, there it will. So, this is all um, NPI silks currently, and a little bit of uh, Petite Treasure Braid in this sort of bronze color. Oh, there we go. There, this light, this lamp is better. So, not a ton of work. Um, and I'm not going to drop in a picture, but if you're curious, you can Google Weeping Willow Keep, and it'll pop it up. But um, this is on an unnamed fabric by the Stitch Me, and I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's a gorgeous project, and uh, man, those silks are divine. So lovely to work with. All right. Next, oh, here we go. This is in part of my Black Needle Society. I did the Gilmore Girls Autumn and Stars Hollow, and so this was the bag that came in with the Life and Death Brigade, um, and then we had a pattern that went with that. I'm doing mine on this light blue Ada, and there we go. I'm about 25% in. So I only really worked on it during the retreat, but um, I had so much fun with the Black Needle Society ladies and the other participants hanging out in stitchy rooms, sort of like stitchy zoom and chatting and um, playing some games and all kinds of stuff. So this is this is how far I've gotten. And oh my God, Kirk with Cat Kirk. I think He's, he's my favorite Stars Hollow person. Um, it's fun. It's great. It's a great pattern. I love the Landis ladies. Um, it was a fun weekend. And, um, yeah, it's great. What do we have next? Oh, my, my octopus bag. Any guesses what's in here? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, if you've watched my old floss tubes recently, I'm not that far ahead, um, but I did finish that Wowza that was May for my Dark Queen of the Sea. So um, I haven't really worked on her very much since. So this giant, here I'll move back so you can see her. The giant tentacle at the bottom um, was the death of me and my stitchy bug on this project. I got it done 
in May. Um, but since then, uh, I've started working on the tentacles over here, and I get the hiccups. Um, so I've done this this edge right here. So not a lot of work. Um, that's okay. I'm starting to miss her a little bit, so maybe we'll get her back in rotation soon because she's beautiful and beautiful down the road. She's stunning, stunning, and I love the like backstitch tattoos on the tentacles. Um, so I'm definitely doing that. These are going to fall. So we're going to cast them in bed. We'll go that way. What's next? Oh, here's my, my scaredy cat Halloween bag. This needs to come out to the top because, you see, this is my, my scaredy cat and pumpkins. I love a good project bag. And I love that I have a coordinating grime guard. It's totally a different fabric, but spooky Halloween cat. Um, and then what lives in my spooky scaredy cat bag? We've got Glendon Place's Headless Horseman Sleepy Hollow. This this is looking good. So um, there's still some work to do in the middle, but I've got a good chunk of it. So um, I've been working on, I got the tail in, and I'm working on the tiny legs and the ground. Um, yeah, this is a lovely piece on this Seriously, seriously amazing fabric, Valerie at Live and Die LA, like chef's kiss. It's, it's gorgeous and it's supple. And the modeling on here, like look at that. Like, isn't that amazing? So now that we're in October, um, maybe I'll get this out and work on it some more. Although, um, being totally honest, I have not really been in the mood to like change up my project. I've kind of turned into a monogamous stitcher. Apparently that's what happens when I'm tired and have no time. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much only working on the pandemic 2020. Um, but that's okay too, right? It takes all types. Maybe in a few weeks I'll post a flash tube and be like, I worked on one thing. That's okay. Uh, here we have Christmas flamingos. Worked on him over the summer. Basically I'm showing you maybe not everything I worked on, but like a sampling of whatever seemed important enough to go in this bag. I think this is the last project, and I've got some Happy Mail and a little bit of haul, but I'm not going to keep you here for an hour with haul. Uh, so the other project I've worked on, here's my Christmas. This is the Celtic Snowflake by Northern Expressions Needlework. That I'm also getting some good progress on um, when I work on it. Also on Seriously Amazing Fabric by Live and Die LA. And all done in the called for uh, dinky dye silks. And I have my first ever little Smyrna's. Let's see if it'll go down here. Yeah, learning some specialty stitches. There's a bunch more to go, but um, this fabric, this um, the opalescent, is a little hard to work on, but I have found that. Um, Using some of those ball tip needles is like really, really helpful to like find a little space and and pop right in. Um, so those are sort of pretty much all I've worked on is the pandemic twenty twenty sampler for like the last few weeks. I worked on the others sort of earlier in July and August. Um, and now I have some stitchy kindness. Let's see. Oh, this is from Denise. Thank you, Denise. I have a card to send you, but um, it'll probably be Christmas before it gets your way. Um, she sent a wonderful, wonderful little note with literally like a floss tube sticker on the back. Yeah, I love that we're floss tube friends, Denise. Um, and then um, I want to give away from her, which was the Prim Stitch Series Love and Friendship with this adorable little cat. Um, this is so cute. Uh, I'm, a, I'm definitely a cat person. I love my dog. Well, we we had to say goodbye to our dog. That's another one of the things that happened in August. Um, she's really old. But, um, so, okay, I'm okay. But, you know, my, my cats are my babies. They're, my dog is very aloof, but my cats, like, sleep all curled up around me, and they're, they're definitely my babies. So, but anyway, wonderful, wonderful piece of city kindness from Denise. This is going to be super short, right? I'm only at like 15 minutes and I'm 
halfway through my bin already. Um, oh, yeah, okay, so this is from Amy, who is Sprinkle Scene Stitches. Um, Amy's a hoot. I, I love watching her. Um, but she uh, had gotten some uh, Victorian Motto sampler thread subscriptions. And um, I, I feel like I can't really comment on the whole thread of the month situation that's going on, but um, if you if you know, you you know. There's a there's been some issues. But since I don't I don't subscribe to it, I can't comment. But anyway, she got some colors that were like really close to colors that Amy already had. So she sent me look at this thread pack. These are so fall. These are so fun. So th thank you, Amy. But then um, she also put more in there. So um Seriously, Amy, over you, you were so generous. Like, I also have a card for you that may or may not go out, you know, in the next four or five months because there's a whole stack of mail. I'm horrible about taking stuff to the post office. Um, but she sent along some fabrics, too. Look at these. This one. Some little bits of red and blue. And then I love this one. She's in a big piece, too. This, like, purple and blue, I think this needs some Halloween stitching. Yeah, some sort of bright orange pumpkin or something. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, as well as a little, a little needle minder. A little beach ball. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Amy. Like, this was, this was super, super generous. And I really, really appreciate it. Maybe I'll get your thank you card in the mail soon. Um, I'm keeping the shipping packaging so that I have your have your address. Um, I also received, I have some stitchy kindness, but I don't know if it really counts, but in the Black Needle Society uh, Gilmore Girls Retreat, they um, have these games, and you can win prizes. So I want a couple of prizes. I want a couple of charts. So those came in the mail from the Amazing Landis Ladies. So first I got this really super cute um, Teresa Kogut pattern called Whimsy Halloween. Look at this little witch and her cat and her pup. Like, this is so cute. I have no idea when I'm going to stitch it, but that is, that is adorable. And the other thing I want, I love this. I've been eyeing this chart, so like this is this is awesome. Look at the mandala, the rainbow by Shannon Christine Designs. You know I love some Shannon Christine Designs. Um, this is beautiful, and uh, yeah, it's it's it would be fun to stitch, um, but also gorgeous. And uh, she has it charted in DMC, but I'm thinking I might swap it out for some silk. Um, or some overdyes. We'll see. Because that, that rainbow is stunning. Um, oh, and I have one more. It's hiding down in the bottom. Um, one more piece of Happy Mail. Also, I have a card to send to Esther, the Danish stitcher. Um, but she very, very kindly sent me my very first bit of Mrs. Theta silk. It's mojito. Um, and I, I love me some mojitos. I had um, many a mojito on the Mediterranean Sea when I was in Barcelona. Um, so it's, it's very, very fitting for a Mrs. Seda soap. But I mean, look at that. That is so yummy. Like, seriously yummy. Makes me want a mojito right now, even though it's, you know, almost 10 o'clock on a Sunday night. But never a bad time for a mojito. Um, so thank you, thank you, Esther. Uh, Alright, so now I've got some purchases. I have a ton of purchases. Um, you know, I say that, but you know, you know me, right? Um, but I tried to just put in things that were either a shop I particularly wanted to promote or something that was especially cool. So, I have my first ever, um, Love You More book sleeves. These, like, are even cooler than I, than I sort of envisioned. So, um, the first one I got is a Fiona with little hippos. Oh, my gosh. My heart. My heart. 
I love it so much. It's so cute. And the little hippo ears. Big and cute little hippo ears. Oh. And then the other one, this is the, it was sort of like, I, I saw this one and I, I had to have it. Um, and then, like, you can't, you can't think trouble up. So the other one I got was this one. We have the crinkle paper. So I bought all the crinklies. Um, isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I love the little cat pumpkin. He will turn sideways, you can see him. He's, he's like the whole reason I had to. And this turquoise, which is my turquoise, and there's a little bit of glitter, and I just thought this was gorgeous. And I could use another Halloween holder thing. Um, and then, of course, I saw that um, Bags Plus has a 12 floss bendy flip in the same fabric, so of course I had to order that, and it's on its way here. Yep. Don't trust my husband. Um, alright. Pulling deep into the bin here, I got a couple of needle minders from Allison It's Term School. Um, both, uh, I think this one is book themed, and oh, yep, yeah, nope, not both book themed. So, I got this one, which is Handmaid's Tale, which is even more fitting now with my connection to Texas um, than it was when I ordered it. Um, but it's got the Latin from the outside, the No Late Bastardus. Um, yeah, I love it. I love the Hammy's Tale. I think it's brilliant. Um, and the other one I got, oh, oh, this was, this was, I wanted this the first time Allison showed it, and then, um, I didn't get one, and so when she made them again, I was like, bye. Now. Um, and it's the tiny little ship in a bottle. See, can you see the details? I here's the focus. I don't know that I can. This, this is amazing. Like, again, I'm not sure Allison is human. Like, this is, this is wild. Um, you can see the, like, tentacles coming up and getting the, getting the ship. And, um, I have the ink circles get cracking that I want to start soon. And so, um, I got that needle miner specifically for that project. So I also ordered some needle minders from a couple other places. I have one from um, Nerdy Needle. Sorry, I thought I had two from Nerdy Needle, but the other one must be on a project somewhere. So I got this one just because that was so funny. Visit Pemberley, they said. He won't be home, they said, um, because I live in Pride and Prejudice, and I thought that was hilarious. And then we have a couple more. Oh, yeah, from Mad for Minders, mainly for the art historian, right? So I got the Hieronymus Bosch Garden of Earthly Delights and then the Unicorn Tapestry, which you can see I actually have on my bed. Um, so I saw these two works of art that are right in my wheelhouse. Um, I teach Bosch all the time. I'm actually looking at doing a whole seminar on him next semester. Um, yeah very very cool and I love them and I figure I can both use them as needle minders and then also maybe like wear them as pins um at work so if you want some uh, mad reminders I know a lot of you shop from them but they're really really nice wooden lightweight and have lots of really cool art um and pop culture needle minders um Stuff is falling over. I made it out forest order. Um, so I have <laughs> my flosses for 100 owls, which are like seriously gorgeous. I don't, I don't have words for how beautiful these are. I have no idea when I'm going to start 100 owls, but um, I've been eyeing, I wanting to start that for a while because I, I love owls. And then, um, you know, this is no longer like new and exciting, but I got one of the veal houses. Uh, because they're amazing, and I loved this derpy snail so much, like, so much, he's so fun, again, no idea when I'm going to start him, I don't want to start anything, but he's all there in his kit, ready to go, uh, we're coming back to the, down to the in it, in the tub, um, what have we got in here, oh, I made an order from Ymir for almond M&M's. 
Um, and I got a handful of things. I got this one, which is um, Bluebell, which I thought was fun, so I can get it to focus. This sort of mossy color, and then um, <laughs> Sangria. Another thing I had a lot of on the beach in Barcelona. And then I did, of course, the, um, the skin pack. Not doing a very good job displaying these, but um, with the years that are significant for civil rights, um, so these are these are amazing. I haven't busted them open and started getting to them because I haven't had a project that I'm working on that has a human um, since I got them. But I'm very very excited to to use those. Um, there's all kinds of stuff in this guy. Okay, the piratical cat. Oh, is this what I... Yeah. Okay, so I want to start, at some point when I'm starting things, the witchy stitcher cryptid cell. And so, of course, you know because you're not my husband. You all understand how you have to have a needle minder, right? And I found this one. I'm going to take him out of the plastic because he deserves full on, not through plastic. I think one of the coolest things I've ever found. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's my favorite cryptid of all, which is the jackalope. Of course you knew that was my favorite. It's a critter, right? I'm all about the critters. Um, and it's also sort of local to the South Southwest where I'm from, and so he's always my favorite. But look, he's in this like Victoria. You can't. The camera's not really picking it up, but there's a little bit. Look at the like detailing on this frame, right? Oh, it's so so cool. So if I ever start <laughs> the cryptid cell, um, we'll we'll have that guy. And um, the piratical cat gave me like a little goodie bag too. So highlighter and some some bookmarks um so i would i definitely wanted to recommend them they were very cool everything was well published and it's well made and all of those things um i of course made an order from valerie at live and die la so i have a couple of things here i have she did a christmas in july and so I bought two pieces of On Thin Ice, which I think is one of my favorite grays ever. Um, one in opal essence and one not opal. And I think the not opal I have a plan for. My um, One of my dear family members, my cousin, is getting married. And um, she and her husband-to-be are both very, very outdoorsy. They have degrees in um, like wildlife management and so I'm going to do them a wedding sampler but I think I'm going to take what's actually like the baby birth sampler that has the bear that's all like turquoisey with the mountains and so it's like the adventure begins or something like that and, and do it for them and put their names instead of like how long and how much the baby weighs. Um, but those were awesome and then I also for the LGBT Q Pride IA, I totally flipped that. My dyslexia is bad. Um, Valerie had a little piece of the non-binary, so I was able to pick that up. My neighbor's doing laundry or something, so if it's picking up noise, I apologize. Um, don't know what I'm going to do that, but there's someone who's very dear to me that that would be very meaningful for. Uh, I also have some floss from Valerie and a needle minder. So the floss. Not really my color, but I had to do it because of what it's called. It's called Dole Whip. I'm, I am not a yellow person, but I love me some Dole Whip. And um, I love Disney World and all of the things. So this, this hits all of my dopamine receptors. And then Valerie designed her own, um, a couple of needle minders and sold them. And so <laughs> it's a skein of DMC 666. And it says Stitching Devil on it. And, yeah. Had, had to get that. Not optional. Sorry, honey. You need more than one needle minder. And I had to have this one. He's okay. Just, yeah. He'll learn. 
Um, okay, so we're down to like two last little packages. Well, not little, but um, of course, what has happened since I saw you last? Uh, New York Expo. The like fall version. So, of course, I had to make an order with the amazing Top Knot, right? Abby Top Knot sit here, making sure I got everything out of the package. Um, toss it there. She sent an adorable free pattern that I'm not going to show because it's just a pattern, as well as a Meow the Merrier sticker because um, I ordered a lot of cat patterns. So, um, she also sent a sunflower cat. Which is so cute. Um, so then the ones I, I purchased was Cleocatra. Um, of course I did. Of course I did. Not optional. I love this um, Alfmore Cottage by um, Rosewood Manor. Didn't I just say I have a thing for owls? Um, and samplers. I didn't think I'd be a sampler person, but they're growing on me. And I love the colors here and thought it was just, just amazing. So, um, not sure when I'm going to stitch it, but i uh, very, very excited to have that one. Um, the Gatekeeper, keep, I can't say it, the Gatekeeper, oh, both of my cats, I don't know if you can see them. Okay, I'll show that, yep. You see cat butt. Um, but they're dark gray, uh, so they totally, this is like perfect for them. Life is better with meow, or life is better meow. I can't talk. I'm, it's late. By Erica Michaels. Um, I was thinking I might try to change this kitty up to be a gray kitty. I think, like um, Betsy, I'm just gonna do all my cats as, you know, gray cats like my Natasha and Bosco. Um, the same way all her cats become Hamilton. And the last one I got. Okay, I I like this chart a lot. Um, but I sort of like some of the other things. It's what it stands for. Um, so it's actually the Labyrinth of Chaim Cathedral. And I have been lucky enough to be at Chaim Cathedral and um, walk the, the Labyrinth. So um, this made my medieval art history heart go pitter-patter, pitter-patter. And um, it's also the, the sort of major Gothic site that I've taken my kid to. So um, then when they saw that, they were like, yes! Yeah! you have to get that mom because we went to them and it was a heat wave and we almost died a heat stroke and then we went into the champagne caves and I'm like yeah we did that so um, we got the pattern so the last thing I have is a set of purchases because I have a new needle workshop near me here in Colorado so um, Shauna and I headed up there literally on Saturday. It's called Colorado Cross Stitcher. Um, Betsy has been ordering from them like a, like a, I don't have a word to finish up. She's been ordering from them like crazy and the shipping has been like wicked fast. So, um, if you're in Colorado, make the trip up to Fort Collins and check out the Colorado Cross Stitcher. It's in, um, Loopy U Yarn Store if you're trying to like find it on your GPS. Um, which as an aside, they're yarn selection was awesome. Their cross stitch selection was also um, good sized and very well curated. So I very much recommend them. So they um, tossed in a free needle minder. So we got a Colorado cross stitcher. And then I went in without much of an agenda. Um, I was like, I'm just going to wander around and see what I see. And the minute I saw this, this has been on my list. I've been trying to get it. The Moonlight Sampler by the Blue Flower. Look at all the critters. We got possums and sloths and owls and lunar moths and I love it. I love it so much. So I was so excited to see this. I was like, bink, in my cart. Um, and then I sort of wandered. So, um, oh, and this also was on my list. The um, Colorado Cross Stitcher Design a Pattern Sampler Maker. So I picked that one up to support her and her new designing. I should say one of their service was fabulous. Um, and then I picked up these two little country cottage needleworks because I thought they were hilarious. They're part of the snow village. So we've got 
a little snowman with a snow cone, like, selling cart. Yeah. Yep, I thought it was adorable and funny. And then I figured he needed a partner. So, um, this one has a little snow cone stand. No idea what I'll make these, but I would love to have them on my Christmas tree, you know, in the next 20 years. Because that's how we roll, right? Um, and then I was sort of like wandering around. I tried to do a, um, a floss conversion, but was having a hard time finding the colors I needed. Um, and Shauna was was doing this amazing conversion um, with MPI silk. So I'm just sort of wandering around, happily poking in corners, um, and looked at the fabric bins and found this piece of picture this plus Kermit. This is this is intense, and I love it. I love me some color. And um, I was like, yeah, I have, to, I just have to come with me, have to. But I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. And so as Shana was like digging around, I was like, maybe I'll see if I can find a fun Halloween pattern. Um, and this one, I had like gone by, and I didn't really like. I was like, eh, whatever. And then it grew on me, and it grew on me, grew on me. And then I flipped it over and realized that it calls for picture of this plus Kermit. So I had to get this one. Oh, I'm daddy. I'm going to hold it like this so you can kind of see him. Oh my gosh, with the little bats. And this one has a little candy corn necklace. And um, yeah, I'm totally going to make him a gray cat, like my gray cat. Um, yeah. Yeah. I was like, just, I love that. Um, and then I got just a couple of um, gentle art threads to sort of start, start my conversion. So, um, not even enough, but like, like a start. So, oh, there was a penny in there. Don't know why there was a penny in there. Um, that's all I've got. So, um, it's short. I had things to show, but I didn't really talk about them. That's okay. I'm going to edit-ish, just meaning like, you know, pop a title slide up, but I'm not going to edit out shutting the door. Um, yeah, and get this posted, and maybe we'll have a floss tube after four months, so, um, if you made it through all my ramblings and my brain flipping things back and forth, thank you, um, I hope that you have a fabulous couple of weeks, enjoy whatever season you're in, I, um, in my hemisphere, I'm heading into fall, and I'm so excited for fall leaves, and, apple cider and all those things, but, you know, whatever hemisphere you're in, enjoy whatever sort of season is starting for you, and, um, you know, do, do what you can to be happy with what you, you know, what you're doing and all of the things, and I will see you soon. Thank you, everybody.